With the opioid epidemic reaching the epic proportions that it has, it's clear that the issue needs to be on the front of everyone's mind if there's to be any progress made in breaking this cycle. The Plymouth Area Substance Abuse Prevention Collaborative teamed up with the Audette family to present If Only, a film produced by James Wahlberg, which follows the life of an adolescent boy as he enters the dark world of addiction. This free screening took place at Plymouth Memorial Hall, and Brian Sullivan was there to report. The sounds of a few voices became the sounds of a few more voices, eventually turning into the sound of a crowd as folks made their way into Memorial Hall. The one common thread tying them all together, raising awareness of the growing opioid epidemic gripping towns like Plymouth all over the country. Hundreds are expected to be in attendance from several towns along the South Shore for tonight's free screening of If Only at Plymouth Memorial Hall. Nearly all 4,000 square feet of the entertainment venue at the hall would be needed for the sheer volume of people who had either gotten free tickets or had just shown up off the street. Even the film's producer Jim Wahlberg was on hand to present and give opening remarks. The movie follows uh, a high school student through his journey of sort of being a little peer pressured into trying drugs and then really traveling down a road that uh, it gets real serious real fast. Of course, none of this would have been possible without the combined effort between the Plymouth Area Substance Abuse Prevention Collaborative and the Audette family. Each one of my towns, Middleborough, Carver, and Plymouth, all came to me sort of around the same time and said, we'd love to do an if only viewing in our community. So they were each sort of looking to do it on their own. Uh, I suggested doing one sort of really big event with the three towns because they're working together on, on a grant, they're coming together as a region instead of just town in town. And interestingly enough, uh, the Audette family was planning on doing If Only as well. Uh, so we found out about that and decided to collaborate. The film truly hit home for Tom and Michelle Audette, who lost their 23-year-old daughter Jillian to an overdose in November of 2014. After my daughter had passed, one of the things my wife and I anguished over is what voice did my daughter have? What influence did she have? that was stronger than that of her parents. You know, she knew better. She was a smart kid. She had always made good choices. And how can that voice be stronger than that of our own? And as we tried to bring awareness to different communities, we were fighting for just the right type of information. And when we saw this movie, that seemed, it seemed to nail it dead on that this is the kind of thing that shows that voice firsthand that was stronger than the voice of a parent. For Amy Lafort, her motivation is raising awareness about substance abuse disorder. I think it's really important to sort of understand what substance use disorder is and sort of try to break down the wall that is the stigma. Um, somebody with that disorder has a disease. It's not, they're not like a dirty junkie and they're not a bad person. Uh, they're struggling with a disease like cancer, diabetes, heart disease, any of those things. And it's important to sort of bring the cause to light and that we need to help people suffering but we also on the other end really need to be focusing on preventing kids from starting. Oftentimes those kids are starting not because of the dealer on the corner but because of pain medications prescribed by doctors. Prescriptions like OxyContin for instance. So here's a drug that they invented for people who are under hospice care. Right? So they were at the end of their life it didn't matter if they got addicted it was to make them comfortable right at the end of their life. Somehow, we've been convinced by these drug makers that that same medicine is now okay for an 11-year-old kid to take for a toothache. This drug has turned people who have never exhibited any kind of problems in their life with addiction and turned them into fully addicted people. It's the medicine, that the, the, the compound that they put together is just highly addictive. It's, nobody escapes it. For those in attendance seeing this film for the first time, the Audettes would like them to leave with these takeaways. We're hoping that for, for the parents, first of all, they get some good information as to what opiates are and how dangerous they can be. For the kids, we want them to take away from the movie and recognize that moment, that first time opportunity that's gonna come their way so that hopefully they recognize that this is it, this is the first time, here's that chance where I'm either gonna say yes or no. The goal of the movie is really to just start a conversation between uh, kids, their parents, community leaders, priests, rabbis, doctors, everybody and anybody um, to help kids sort of look at a, making a better choice. 
In downtown Plymouth, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News.